Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. Today's April 18th, 2023. And I'm going to show you signs of the prophet Jonas. If this doesn't line up to the sign of Jonas, then I am not Steve Fletcher, a trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed. But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall be no sign given to it but the sign of the prophet Jonas. Between the two great American eclipses of August 21st, 2017 and April 8th, 2024, the exact middle day was the first vaccine in the United States, a sign for America, December 14th, 2020. On December 14th, 2020, there was also another total solar eclipse over South America, three eclipses all over America. And the middle day was the first vaccine. From the last hybrid eclipse, November 3rd, 2013, to April 20th, 2023, the hybrid eclipse that's going to be happening tomorrow and Thursday, the middle point was the super blood moon over Jerusalem of July 27th and July 28th, 2018. 1727 days in between to the middle point. July 27th is 727. A double sign of 727. Greek 727 is a sudden snatching. And Hebrew 727 is ark. The super blood moon over Jerusalem was the longest blood moon of the century and it was on Israel's day of weddings to be of. Going from the super blood moon over Jerusalem of July 28th, 2018 to the hybrid solar eclipse of April 20th, 2023, the midday was December 8th, 2020, the first COVID vaccination in the world, in the United Kingdom. The middle point of these two eclipses was the first global vaccine, a sign for the world. And this is all explained here in the 1727 days between eclipses. The midday was December 8th, 2020, the first worldwide vaccine, a sign for the world. This is new information that I have not shared in a previous video. This is confirming the sign of Jonah 100%. From the solar eclipse of June 10th, 2021, where on the very next day, a man was swallowed by a whale. To April 20th, 2023, the hybrid solar eclipse that is in the constellation of Pisces and Cetus, the sea beast and the sea whale. The middle day was the total lunar eclipse of May 15th and May 16th, 2022. This was Israel's 74th birthday. The 70 years of Israel plus the four-year delay of the fig tree exactly, and this is the midpoint of the two Jonah eclipses. And this is fully explained here that from June 10th, 2021, to the total lunar eclipse of May 15th and May 16th, it's 340 days. And then going from May 15th, 2022, 
340 days, it brings us to the hybrid solar eclipse of April 20th, 2023. And the total lunar eclipse was May 15th and May 16th of 2022. The midday of the sign of Jonah. On June 24th, 2021, there was another sign of Jonah. Jonah Handler was pulled from the rubble from a Miami condominium, and this was a Jewish community. So Jonah was a Jew pulled out of the rubble on June 24th, 2021. 666 days to April 20th, 2023. The hybrid solar eclipse in Pisces and Cetus, which is the sea beast and the whale. The sign of Jonah plus 666 days to the final sign of Jonah on April 20th, 2023. The first hybrid eclipse of November 3rd, 2013 went exactly over the village of Barack Obama. Barack Obama was born in Kenya on August 4th, 1961, the 216th day of the year. And the eclipse that went over the exact village of Obama's birthplace over his village, the eclipse time was 2 hours and 16 minutes. Just as Obama was born on the 216th day of the year, the eclipse time was also 216, which is 6 times 6 times 6. The eclipse of April 20th, 2023 is going over Australia, and Barack Obama was just in Australia. From start to finish, everything is showing Barack Obama. From the hybrid solar eclipse of November 3rd, 2013 to the hybrid solar eclipse of April 20th, 2023, 3,456 days. 3,456 means to be desolate. From the Revelation 12 sign, September 23rd, 2017, April 20th, 2023, 2,035 days. 2,035 means to overthrow, destruction, or ruin. We just shared with you that from eclipse to eclipse, 3,456 means to be desolate. This is the same exact meaning from the Revelation 12 sign, 2,035 days, destruction, ruin, overthrow, and desolation. In the Hebrew, 2,035 means 7,000. And this is the number of the remnant of God, of those who had not bowed their knee to Baal, 7,000 that God has reserved for himself. This is the remnant of God, 2,035. But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign. There shall be no sign given to it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. The hybrid solar eclipse of April 20th, 2023. The sign of the prophet Jonas. Jonas. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people, the sign of his coming revealed.